Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to show you a mistake I made and help you not get scammed on the New Face Trinity Facial Microcurrent System. But before I get into that, I wanted to show you a couple things. The first are some Kendra Scott earrings that I bought that I absolutely love. They're called statement earrings, and I really think they are. I would never wear a necklace with them because they very much stand on their own. And I put a link below if you would like to learn a little more about them. I just think they're very pretty. And I paired these earrings with a very reasonable low-end top. It is from Old Navy. My, my husband calls it Old Lady. He's just kidding. But anyway, this is a look at that top, and I think it's around $12 dollars and I've got a link to it below as well but it's just a little off the shoulder top a little embroidery at the bottom absolutely cute just a very summery nice top and if you're not a subscriber and you'd like to learn more about anti-aging fashion all kinds of fun girly girly things then I hope you'll click that little bell because that will just send you email notifications of my future videos and you won't miss anything now let's get down to the point of this video and the point of this video is that I was scammed on the new face trinity system and I want to help you make sure that you do not get scammed on this my hard lesson hopefully will teach you something that will help you well here's what happened I saw this device advertised on a lot of other YouTube channels and of course I'm all into anti-aging and I love the fact that it keeps those jowls kind of up where they should be at least those were the results I was seeing other youtubers achieve so I really wanted one but in the stores these are like three hundred and twenty five dollars and I'm always a bargain shopper and I shop a lot on eBay in fact I used to have an eBay store so I'm very familiar with eBay and when I was looking around on eBay I realized that I could get this for around 200 on eBay and I thought oh I'm such a smart shopper well unfortunately I was not a smart shopper because although this looks absolutely normal like any other new face device it was not it was a total scam down to even they had a little store sticker on the bottom that's not printed on that's just a little store sticker that kind of is more evidence that this is real and I got this new face device about a year ago and I've actually marked it on the back with X's because now I have the real new face device and I don't ever want to confuse the two in fact, I'll either put this away in a box or I will throw it away. I'm really mad at myself that I did this. A lot of you were asking me, hey Beth, do you have a new face? Are you going to use it? Whatever. And I kept using it a little bit over the past like six months that I had this thing and it kind of hurt and I thought, hmm, you know, I just didn't really think that that felt very good. And then maybe about a month ago, you kept asking and kept asking. So I finally decided to go ahead and do a 30 day and I used it for the first week and it was so strong that it would make my face twitch. And I had not heard other YouTubers talking about this, but then I realized that, you know, even a day or two, three, four days down the road after using this, my eyes would twitch or my lip would twitch. And I thought, there is something wrong here. So I started looking up the symptom of the new face plus facial twitches on the internet. And I found that if you're having that experience, it means that you have a fraudulent unit, that it is not genuine. And coincidentally, Nordstrom's was having their sale on this unit, this $325 unit, which included the gel plus the unit was on sale at Nordstrom's for $217. So I thought, I'm going to go ahead and get the genuine and compare it with the one I have and see for myself if the one I have is a fake or if it's real. And I just got this in the mail two days ago and I used it and there was absolutely no facial twitching when I used the real device. And I did some more research on how to protect yourself from getting a fraudulent new face device. And I thought I would share that with you. And I am so excited to be using this because everyone else on YouTube seems to have great results. And I will show you my 30 day after pictures using the real new face device. And hopefully I'll have some good results too. Okay, this is the real new face. And again, it did not give me that horrible twitching sensation when I used it or after I used it this is the real device that I got from Nordstrom's and so let me go down the list to tell you how to make sure that your device is real the first thing is that you need to buy it from an authorized retailer buying it from eBay there's a ton of them and they're made in Hong Kong they're made in China but for the most part those units unless they're used they are not real so do not get fooled if you're going to buy this unit it's an expensive little thing at 217 on sale or 325 on sale but make sure you buy it directly from an Ulta or a Sephora or the new face people themselves that way you know that what you're getting is genuine the second tip I have is to avoid something called the new face pro and there are a lot of websites out there that will say well the new face pro is actually the professional version of the new face and it's used in esthetician salons that kind of thing 
but there are very few new face pros out there so if they're trying to sell you a new face pro chances are it's a fake now now the second way to check and make sure that you have a real unit is to make sure that this little control panel is actually a plastic piece that's embedded in the machine and that it's not a sticker because there's some units out there that they sell that are fakes and they have a sticker there instead of the little plastic unit that's all in one there and another way to spot a fake is to check the little prong units on the bottom and make sure that they're totally straight because on the fake units often they're not straight at all this is a look at my fake unit prongs are a little bit not straight there this is the fake unit and this is the real unit and I don't know if you can tell I can see it in real life but on the fake unit the prongs are just slightly off whereas these are perfectly straight now another way to make sure that your unit is real is to take off the little head here and look underneath that oh it's making a noise and right there you just run your finger over this and if it's rough it's a real unit and if it's very smooth it is a fake unit they make this a little rougher to make sure that the head stays on there has a good surface to grip now the most telltale sign of any of these being a fake is what happened to me which is that when I was using it it was giving me very strong sensations and I even got twitching hours even days down the road after using it that does not happen with the new face unit because it is a microcurrent device and the other fake units are an electrical muscle stimulation device much stronger not good for you don't use the fake units and again now that I have the real unit I'm doing a 30-day trial on my face with before and after pictures and if you're not a subscriber and would like to see that just click that bell and subscribe now I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day and today is no exception I've been drawing cards from these power thought cards by Louise Hay okay let's see what power thought we can think about for today okay I love and accept myself I love and accept myself that sounds pretty standard I appreciate all that I do I am good enough just as I am I like that one I speak up for myself I ask for what I want and I claim my power when I first saw this card I was a little disappointed I thought I love and approve of myself you know that's pretty basic but this card actually gives us ways in which we can love and approve of ourselves the first thing is that we can speak up for ourselves we can be our own best friends and if there's any point at which we really do need to speak up for ourselves let's do that today and we need to ask for what we want that seems kind of obvious but you know how can the people around us give us what we want unless we tell them first ladies just for today and every other day hereafter let's claim our own power because when we claim our own power in a good way it can affect the lives of everyone around us including ourselves Take care. See you next time.